Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tom Gets to Tree. I'm Whitney and we're in another remote location. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you newish to the, or new to the channel, I don't normally film in my kitchen. In fact, I have no idea what the sound is even going to sound like. Um, I'm a little nervous because obviously this. Is, so if it's echoey, I apologize. Um, the reason I'm not in my normal space and the lighting might be kind of weird because I'm in my kitchen. Um, but we are having construction done in our basement, which is where my sewing studio is, as well as my new filming studio. It is a construction chaos down there at the moment and they're also doing some other stuff for our basement as well so it's not just my filming studio um so anyway we just have all of our stuff is just displaced everywhere like my sewing room is a mess because everything that was in this the filming space had to come into the sewing room and um they're doing some work in my living room with electrical to get it into the basement so my living room's torn up right now <laughs> um we're just living in mass chaos so Friday's video came to you from Jenny's, which was so kind of them. Um, but I really, really, really wanted to do the unboxing today of my new machine. I'm going to talk about that a little bit here in just a second. But while this is atypical, something that is very typical is the fact that it is Friday, which means today it, there is a Love Notions feature Friday pattern. Um, today's pattern is the Oakley vest, both for, and I think the acorn vest, which is a little girl's pattern that goes with the adult pattern. Just a really simple, perfect pattern for this time of the year. Really, no matter where you live, you know, if you're going into, um, well, if you're in the middle of summer, maybe you don't want to wear a vest, but you will be going into the fall soon. <laughs> maybe a good layering piece is good. Or if you're in the colder climates, sometimes, well, here in the Midwest, we get random warm days, warm-ish. I think today it's supposed to get up into the 50s, which is warm for us. So weather like this is perfect to throw on a vest and um, yeah, the Oakley is a lovely pattern. I've not made it up yet, but I've seen so many wonderful versions. And for today only, it is $5. And remember this quarter, my code for Love Notions will be changing each quarter. So this quarter to get your extra 10% off, so an additional 10% off your um, the $5 sale price, you can use Tom10 um, to get that additional 10% off. So definitely a good one to go grab. Um, and each of those patterns are $5 off. So definitely wanna go do that. Okay, why am I in my kitchen with a big box? This isn't even the biggest. The biggest box you can barely see. It's right here, I couldn't get it up here. <laughs> I'm at home by myself. And this one is very heavy. So it's staying on the floor for right now, but I will pull things out and show you what's in there. All right, so late last year, uh, fall-ish time um, in 2022, um, the Bernina dealer, it's not the closest Bernina dealer to me, but the most extensive Bernina dealership to me, um, reached out and asked if I would be interested in being an ambassador for their shop. So the University of Sewing is a, um, they actually have a, a tailor where they do like alterations and stuff and part of their business, but their main business is um, they are a uh, Bernina dealership and they sell, all, I mean, they have all of the, they've got a ton of, I don't know if it's all, but a ton, including a long arm, Bernina, um, all on, you know, display right there in their shop, um, as well as a fabric store, both really nice quilting cottons, but they also have a wonderful selection of fashion fabrics. I may have grabbed some, I'll show them to you here in a second. Um, they've got a website and everything, they ship all over the US. Um, I'm not sure about their international shipping though. I'll find out. Anyway, um, they asked if I would be interested in being an ambassador for them, meaning that um, I, you know, I would kind of get the lowdown on sales that they're getting ready to have, you know, so that I can promote those as they're going on on the channel, but also be given a new Bernina each year, a loner, basically, um, for the duration of our partnership. So, I mean, number one, yes, why wouldn't I want to play around on a brand new sewing machine? That sounds wonderful. But one of the things, as much as I love my industrial and my industrial is staying in my sewing room, I will still be using it, all of that kind of stuff. But one of the things that has always bothered me a little bit is the fact that with my sewing tutorials and my sew alongs and, um, you know, if you are listening to the 2022-2023 video, um, I'm going to be doing some digital classes. I don't sew on a home machine, and I think that there is, and not a lot of people sew on an industrial machine, you know, percentage-wise. And I know that there's a lot 
while I love my industrial sewing machine to death, uh, but there's a lot that it can't do that a home sewing machine can do. So being able to demonstrate, and even though this is a very, very nice home sewing machine, it is much more similar to all models of home machines than my industrial is. So being able to show things on a home machine, um, it, was, it, it is important to me. So this perfectly timed out, about the time I was you know, making the decision to do these digital classes, they reached out to me, so it was a perfect timing um, on both parts. So for the next year, I am going to be, um, for anything that you guys are seeing, I am going to be sewing on a Bernina 770, and I was also given the embroidery unit which is very exciting. <laughs> and on top of that, I grabbed a few other things while I was in there, so we'll go through that as well. Um, but I wanted to do the unboxing with you guys today. Obviously, the other reason, um, my filming studio is, the lights down there are wonderful. I just started four sentences and didn't finish any of them. But the lighting down there, they finished the lighting yesterday. It is so good. I am so excited to show you all. Um, but drywall will be coming, uh, tomorrow, maybe the day after that. And as anyone who's had any work done in their home where they're living, where they're having drywall work done, you know the dust and the mess that that is. So I didn't want this machine anywhere near the drywall dust because it's a loner to me. I don't even really want my machines close to it, but we are gonna plastic off my sewing machine, my sewing room doors, um, and they have doors that close. So hopefully that's gonna keep, and all my fabrics in there. So that's gonna keep a large majority of the dust out of that space, like heavy plastic on those. Um, so feeling pretty good about that, but I just don't want to take any chances with this machine. So this machine is going to be living upstairs until the construction is completed. And then it is going to live in my filming studio. So anytime you see me on camera doing any kind of sewing tutorials, it's going to be done on this machine. So this again is Bernina 770 and I'm going to unbox it with you here in a minute. But before we get into that, I did take some B-roll when I was down picking up the machine. Um, so sewing, University of Sewing is located in Bloomington, Indiana, which is where the University of Indiana is located. That is about, depending on traffic, an hour and 15, hour and a half south of where I live. So not too bad um, getting down. Um, again, they sell tons of Berninas, both brand new and they always have a few used machines that are refurbished as well, which is really lovely if that fits your budget a little bit better. Um, like I said, they sell tons of notions. They sell all the parts and pieces to all the Berninas that you can think of. Um, she offers classes. So with the purchase, obviously I didn't purchase this. This is a loaner for me, but I have access to this as well. You get... Um, it's a two-part class, three hours each day, on how to use everything with your machine. And she, they encourage you guys to come down, you know, periodically. If you've got the embroidery unit, there's a separate embroidery class that you can join, which are all included. So um, they encourage you to keep taking the classes, obviously. She also offers a lot of other types of classes in her space that are classes you can purchase. So if you're in the area and interested in um, anything like that, I will have all their information, their um, website linked down below. Um, I have been friends with Margaret who uh, runs University of Sewing, oh my gosh, for many years. We were in the same professional sewing organization. Um, so anyway, that's, we had a relationship before she reached out to me, but um, yeah, she, they very knowledgeable down there and the staff is very, very friendly. So got to meet quite a few of them again. So before we go further, I just want to show you a little bit of the shop. shot here where our dinner is being prepared for tonight <laughs> it's just really yeah really going the distance for you all okay so let's unbox 
stopped. We'll get to this embroidery unit here in just a second. So I honestly have no idea what's in this box. I mean, I did, you will have seen footage of me looking at the display model of the 770 and she showed me just a few basic things. She sent this home with me. She wanted me to play with it, kind of figure it out so that I have questions because I am going to go to the beginner class um, in a couple of weeks. Um, not beginner, but the, the class for the machine showing you how to use it and all that stuff in a couple of weeks. But she wanted me to play with it for a little bit before all of that happened. Okay, so the first thing we've got in here is a little package of Mettler threads. Three different colors. We have a white, a black, and a red. That's kind of, I mean, hard for you to see. There's a, I need to keep all this stuff. So this is one of those, um, keeps the humidity out of things. But I'm saving all my boxes, obviously, for when this comes back. Oh, the other thing. Okay, so here is the wonderful um, plate. What would we call this? I need to learn more my more my technical uh, sewing machine terms. This is so I have my little Bernina, my 330 that I bought um, last year, and it's a great. It does all my buttonholes and all that kind of stuff. If I need a zigzag stitch, it's my travel machine. I've used it a ton this year because I, it's my machine that I've taken back to uh, Missouri when I've been helping with my mom. Um, with her recovery down there. So a lot of this stuff's gonna be similar, just higher end. <laughs> but this is the, um, yeah, it's what comes off for the free arm. So I get the table, the sewing table is probably the best word. People are gonna be correcting me in the comments. Okay, so that's what's here on top. All right, one thing I'm very excited about is a knee lift. My little 330 did not come with a knee lift, although it has one that I could purchase. This one, she said that this one it won't fit on that 330, but they do sell the knee lift for the 330. So if I just can't live without this, once I started working on this machine, I may be going back to get the knee lift for the 332 um, also. Um, I'm thinking right now, now that I have this machine, the 330 might be going to live at my parents' house just so I have a sewing setup that's just all set and ready to go there for when I am back um, helping with my mom. So knee lift, we'll see, we'll see. I have a feeling that's gonna be huge. Okay, next, we have a power cord, obviously. Very important. I'll go ahead and pull that out of this little bag. All right, we have a little, are these maybe the feet? Yes. Okay, so there's a little box that comes with, yay, all of the feet. So we have, that come with the machine. Um, and I'm sure there's, I mean, I can go through with you real quickly what comes with this machine. So this machine takes the jumbo bobbins. With I'm, I bought a few more of these just to have a few different um, colors. It came with one, two, five. And I think I bought another package of five. Um, we have the patchwork foot, which is number 97D. So that's going to be interesting. Um, we've got... That's the only one that was in a, a bucket here. Oh, I've got a wide, um, like a wide toed one, which is 20C. Um, Margaret did tell me anything that has the D after it means it's dual feed. So the machine does have dual feed. And then we've got 1D, which is just like your standard presser foot. And then we've got 4D, which I'm assuming this looks like a zipper foot as well. Although I bought an invisible zipper foot extra. Um, we've got a little tool and then we've got some sewing machine oil, a little bit of it. And then there is a single stitch throat plate as well. So, um, if any of you are just going to be using straight stitch, maybe with like a slinky knit or something, um, having a single stitch throat, although not for a knit, only if you're doing straight stitching, anything that needs a little zigzag, you need to use the wider throat plate because the needle needs to be able to go back and forth. But <laughs> you're worried about lightweight fabric getting sucked down into your um, bobbin case, that is a good one for straight stitch only. Okay, so that's the little goodie bag that comes with that. Set that over there. Um, we also have, oh, a stitch regulator. I think this is 
a okay so I think that this stitch regulator has to do with quilting because I'm looking at the pictures here um, yeah so is this like a free motion you quilters will know like a free motion piece so it comes in this wonderful box I'm gonna leave it in the box um, but it has yeah it like plugs into the machine that's interesting okay how did that go like that I'll have to read up on that all right so that was all included um then exciting <laughs> um, oh, I had, with my in-person classes quite a few of my students had these um, that had Bernita's so that makes sense that they come with them what else is in here okay so we also have in here um, some of the little uh, some needles the little oh, the little spongy things that go on top of like different threads and stuff to keep the little the spools down um, some some smaller ones that keep things. We've got the um, oh the little piece that helps you quilt your lines straight. <laughs> All these technical terms. Another little Allen wrench, a little screwdriver. There's a seam ripper. Again, needles. What is this little thing? Okay, I don't know what this is. These three acrylic pieces that are like what is that oh thickness it's a hump jumper that's what that is for doing thicker fabrics so like when I think of it just right off the bat all right so that is also included in that just stick that back in there so I'm excited to fill up my little cabinet Because again, um, I did purchase a couple of Bernina feet. I, I, I actually just, I paid for the extra. And then we have, this is so exciting. I'm gonna have to make sure and keep all of these boxes. My guess is that this is the owner's manual. It is. Okay, so we have all the warranty stuff. Um, oh, there's an embroidery data DVD that's here. I guess that's got the software probably for, I don't know. I guess it's if you have a computer, because I don't even have a computer that ha takes a CD or a DVD. Anyway, I'm sure that it will explain more what that is. Um, oh, you've got some like uh, laminated pieces that are probably like quick guides. And then yes, you have a really large spiral bound owner's manual. So this is gonna be some reading for me later, which is very exciting. <laughs> I think that that's, everything Make sure all that stays together I'm gonna leave this out though so that I can read through that okay then next here is the machine okay this thing weighs a small ton here. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, they even have like a little certification um, card on there. And they have another like um, little packet for humidity. But here she is, folks. I mean, I, I'm so excited to take off the plastic that's on here. I find that so satisfying. And the 
plastic is, of course, stuck underneath this. There we go. Okay. So there she is in all of her glory. I also feel like this little red uh, ribbon on the handle looks like a uh, ribbon, like it's your gift. <laughs> um, and then I've got a, oh, the buttonholer. I've got a little carrying bag, although they gave me a wheelie cart um, to put this in. So I probably will only use this as like a dust covering, but it does come, the wheelie bag does not come with it, but they did, um, University of Sewing did provide me with one. I'll, I'll open that up later. Well, I'll show you guys. This is very similar to what I've got for my 330. So they've got these little kind of a covering bag that can easily, for dust and whatnot, slips right over like that. So yeah, that's very similar. I mean, obviously it's a smaller one because the other machine's smaller, but um, yeah. And then here's my, the button holder foot was in there too. And then, and then the final thing they have included is, of course, the foot pedal. And that, my friends, and this is everything that is included with the machine. So, very exciting. I can't wait to um, start playing with it. I just don't wanna pull it out yet. I mean, I could set it up on my kitchen table, I guess, but I think I am gonna wait. Just be patient. Although, well, we'll talk a little bit more. I do have a project that I kind of need to use it for. So we'll talk more about um, all of this here in a little bit. But let's unbox the uh, embroidery unit now really quickly. Okay, the next thing that they've given me as a loaner for a year is a, the embroidery unit, which is so exciting. I can hardly even stand it. So let's unbox this baby. I'm gonna try and be very careful with this one as well. All right, so in this one, we've got another box. It comes with um, let's see, we've got some embroidery needles. We have like a, a couple of the little um nets that go around thread. There is a uh, USB cord. We have templates, it looks like in here for the hoops. Some other little pieces, looks like there's some stabilizer in there. And then, let's see. There, I guess there's some Bernina embroidery software that you can buy. They got a free trial. And then, um, oh yeah, Margaret did say OESD, which is a stabilizer, is also owned by Bernina. So it's got a, there's a little pamphlet in there about that. So just some little odds and ends that'll be very important going forward. Then we've got the first hoop. I have no idea what sizes these are. Um, as a refresher, I did have an embroidery machine. I had a Janome memory craft um, that I just, I just wasn't using it. Um, I'm very excited though. I'm very excited to give embroidery another chance. The embroidery that I did beforehand, here's another little hoop. There's three different hoop sizes in this. Uh, the embroidery that I did on the old machine was basically kid stuff. It's when my kids were younger and my niece, my niece and nephews were older or younger. And um, yeah, I just wasn't using it. But I have a lot of, oh my gosh, look at that little bitty hoop. That's adorable. This would be perfect for um, like um, logos, like on golf shirts. I have so many ideas for embroidery, folks. And you guys have been giving me some great, further great ones. Okay, and then 
we have the embroidery unit. So this was also out. In fact, the footage that you saw of the 770 in the um, shop, it had the embroidery unit on it. Ugh. So it is this big guy. And it very easily, ooh, tripping and tripping. It just plugs in, like fits into the side of the machine, just like that. I think this is also gonna be a ton easier than what I had used before. So I guess those fit on like so. I don't even know. I'm so excited to delve into this and to figure out what's what. But this is the embroidery unit. So obviously you're not gonna have this attached to your machine all the time. But this is another thing that made me interested is that with my Janome, there was the embroidery arm kind of was like in the back of the machine and it would, you know, rest and that's what you put your hoops and stuff in and it worked, um, you know, all through there. But I think, I mean, maybe not, I don't know, but I think that this is what does the moving for your embroidery. So I, I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I think that your hoops go on and then these are, you know, it's on the bed of your machine and maybe the machine is just set to like a, a um, free stitch. What am I trying to say? Where you can stitch whatever you want. So it's literally just going up and down. The feed dogs aren't engaged is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, and that this does the work of the embroidery for you. So the computer for the embroidery maybe is in this because it does, not only does it hook into the machine, but it's got like a little plug in that's right there as well. So I'm very excited to try this out. Okay, so that is everything that I was given as loaner. The machine, the bag to put the machine in, which I'm not gonna show you guys, it's just a big Bernina wheelie bag, um, and the embroidery unit. But I also grabbed a few things as well. So let me show you what I purchased <laughs> with my own money. And I spent some money, but that often happens. You know, when your job is your hobby, it's a very hard to make a fine line. <laughs> Okay, and finally, while I was down there, I did buy a few odds and ends, just more so that I could play a little bit better. Um, one of the things, they sell a ton of thread down there, and I did buy just some isocord. So isocord is the thread that they recommend on the and with, for the embroidery and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I've heard that before with the embroidery machines, isocord's a really great thread. So I bought a couple of big white and black, for that and then I also bought a big thing of the um, embroidery bobbin thread which I think is a little uh, lighter weight um, my other machine had specific bobbin thread that I could use as well um, that would just help make things stitch really nicely so I bought some of that as well um, I did buy three well I bought another case of bobbins just because I need bobbins um, I bought three extra feet. I bought the gather foot, which is 16, number 16, it's the gathering foot, which she demonstrated this for me and it's pretty cool. Kind of does the same thing that my serger does when I'm putting like gathered panels onto a flat piece, um, but on the sewing machine instead of on the serger, so I'm excited to play around with that one. I also got a, is this the, yeah, this is a jeans foot. She talked me into this one. This is 8D, which means dual feed, because the machine does have dual feed, which means you don't need a walking foot unless, you know, it's something really, really heavy. She said, try it out though. I don't think you're gonna need the walking foot. Um, but this is a jeans foot, and it just helps you not break when you're going up over uh, really thick seams and stuff like that, not to let the needle break, and keeps a really nice straight stitch, she said. So, very excited. I do a lot of jeans and that sort of thing, so excited about trying that one out. And then the other one was foot 35, which is just an invisible zipper foot, and I just can't live without an invisible zipper foot because I put a, you know, if I'm putting a zipper in, I mean, I do put in fly zippers and stuff, which I just use a zipper foot for, but for a lot of my dresses and that sort of thing, invisible zipper foot, and I just won't put an invisible zipper in without an invisible zipper foot. It just is not worth it. So <laughs> I bought an invisible zipper foot. Then I bought a few colors of the, um, 
isocord thread. She had a ton, but I wanted to play around with some of the, um, I mean, I know that there's a lot of embroidery that you can buy, Urban Threads is one of them, I think, in online, um, which I'll definitely be playing around with. But I did want to try um, just messing around with some of the stuff that's already loaded on the machine. So I bought just some pretty, I thought a floral design would be pretty. So I bought um, like a gold, my warm red, kind of a spring green, a coral, and a purple, kind of an orchidy purple, all in my color palette, just to play around with. And then I also bought some of this Yin Mitt. Um, it's metallic thread, but she said it does not, it's not like your typical metallic thread. She's like, it doesn't break, it doesn't, you know, um, you know, get all bunch, bunched up, you know, like when it, the thread starts stripping itself. She said, this is not your typical metallic thread, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I bought the gold in that, and then she, I just bought some buttonhole thread. So <laughs> she was showing me the buttonhole function on this new machine. You can make the buttonhole wider, so you can make the sides of the buttonhole wider and also the center wider. So if you're making buttonholes on a coat and a thick fabric, I'm very excited to try out that. And I am currently sewing a um, the Nomi Patterns uh, 2002, I think. It's the Butte J Jador um, coat. And I do want to add, the. it does not have buttons on the pattern, but I would like to add one in the front because I don't ever use the tie belt. That's just not a flattering shape on me. I'll always just, if I have it closed, I'll just close it with a button. So I bought some matching thread for that and in a buttonhole weight. Um, so it's like a thick weight. And this is Guterman. I'm pretty sure this is Guterman. Is it? Maybe not. No. This is Wonderful. Wonderful. But it's, I think, um, she was going on on how good this was. So I bought this because I needed it anyway to do that. All right. So those are the little notions that I bought. And then I grabbed some fabric because, I mean, she's got some beautiful pieces. I told myself I was only going to buy, there was one thing I actually needed, but everything else I said, only if there's some pieces in there that I absolutely just fall in love with. And there were a few. Um, she does have quite a few things on clearance right now. Now this one, I bought the whole rest of the bolt. I'll come closer for, for you guys for the fabric so you can see a little better. This is a cotton and it is a, it's like a, a heavy weave cotton. Look at the print on this. It's a double border print. So it's got this floral border print on both ends of it and then it's white with a black polka dot. These are my daughter's colors, completely. It's also very shadowy over here, sorry. <laughs> My lights, I'm, I'm trying my best here. Um, but I bought this and I bought the rest of the bolt. I was just gonna buy three meters, but then there was an extra, uh, she was just gonna roll in the rest. So I just went ahead and bought it all. So there's a little less than five yards, I think here, I, not meters. I was gonna buy three yards. Um, so I went ahead and just bought the whole lot. But I thought a fit and flare dress for my daughter out of this would be beautiful. Um, we are going to Italy in June, but my cousin who got married to the Italian, they're having a reception in um, Southern Missouri, where she's from, uh, at the beginning of April. And so I have a dress already. I'm gonna wear my Upton, my brightly colored Upton, but um, my daughter needs wants something new. So I thought I would make her a fit and flare dress and we'll play around and see what I've got in my stash and maybe some other patterns um, to make her a fit and flare dress out of this. And I don't know what I'll do with the rest of it. Something for her, I'm sure though, because these are all of her colors. And then on that vein, I also bought the rest of this. This is a cotton lawn, and I just couldn't pass it up. Number one, it's my colors. And I, I again, I bought the rest of this, and I think there was like two and a third yards left, but it's pretty wide. Cotton lawn, so it's gonna have to be lined. But guys, not only are these my colors, but these are scenes of Rome, which is where we're going in June. So how could I pass that up? Like I clearly need to make myself probably a little dress to pack to wear when we're in Rome, right? The Rome fabric needs to be worn in Rome. So yeah, these are all little like vignettes of Rome. Like there's the aqueducts, there's, what else is on here? There's a whole bunch of like, yeah, some of the cathedral, is this Rome? Yeah. Now I'm second guessing myself. I think that's what it's called though. The print is called Chow Rome or something like that. Anyway, I needed it for my Italy trip. So I grabbed that. <laughs> um, the thing that I needed 
was some gray rib. So she has a wonderful selection of just like some basic fabrics, but I bought some gray rib to finish off Jenny's bomber jacket that you guys saw in progress. So I needed some of that. It matches the zippers that I put into that um, aqua coat or teal coat. So that I actually needed. This is the only thing that I <laughs> went in actually needing. Um, and then I just saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I uh, often watch Sean from Kittenish Behavior and in her Vlogmas, she did um, 19 pieces in Knitmas. So she was making a whole bunch of knit pieces. And one of them was a panel and it was like this crazy loud panel of, with like a tiger face, a huge tiger face on it. And she just used it as abstract fabric though. So um, she made one of her favorite like knit patterns and made this wonderful dress, but it was really just the colors it showed through, not so much the print. Um, and I just thought that was such, so clever. Anyway, I saw this one first because of the colors. I mean, the colors are just so good, but it is a, um, it's a stoff. She carries the stoff knits, which are phenomenal. If you have never sewn with the stoff knits, oh my gosh. Um, I got a ripped off remnant as well while I was there, but it is like a digital print of, I think it's the, I think it's in China. <laughs> she told me what the building was, the, maybe the bank of China. I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because I just wanted the colors. So I'm going to do something similar um, to what Sean on Kittenish Behavior did. I'm just going to use this as an abstract print basically and do some sort of a knit dress out of it. I got three yards of it. So plenty to do. And there is quite a bit of this still left. So if this speaks your fancy, I mean, it's beautiful. There's even, you know, like these bright like colors that are in there. It's like chain link fence, but the background is navy. And then my cobalt blue, there's like this bright green, this warm yellow. It's just so good. But there is stuff, there is this left and um, it's all online, so you can easily purchase from her. Okay, and then these last two were both remnants. Um, so she's got a lot of 60, I think 60, a lot of clearance stuff because she's trying to make room for her next season fabrics. So definitely go have a look at that on the website. But I grabbed this, I think there's a one and three eighths yard of this fabric. It's a cotton lawn, but look that green. It's in my color palette. I just thought it would make a beautiful top just for this spring and summer. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's uh, like I said, it's one yard and three eighths. So um, I'm not sure. Some sort of uh, just an easy woven t-shirt maybe um, or blouse of some sort. Maybe a t-shirt with a fun sleeve if I can get enough out of it. I know someone had mentioned with my orange silk, the, um, oh, is it called the Ashton? The Helen's Closet um, tank pattern. It's like a cropped, well, cropped or comes high hip tank pattern. And I've made that for my mom. I own it, I make that, but she also has a sleeve expansion pack for that pattern um, that I thought about buying. Um, so maybe make one for myself because my mom really loved that top or loves that top, continues to love it. And then the other one was just this, like I said, Stoff Knit, their cotton jersey. Cotton spandex jersey is just delightful. Uh, and I think this is like two yards, maybe a little over two yards. And this beautiful print. I mean, if that's not a summer dress, and I just feel like going to Italy in June, we're gonna be there 12 days. Um, and I feel like knit pieces pack really easily and they don't get wrinkly. Um, and dresses obviously can be worn casual, um, you know, dressed up or dressed down. I do want to take separates just so I can mix and match things and have, you know, outfits for every day that aren't super um, repeated. But there are going to be three events for the wedding that are going to be taking place while we're there. And I will need nicer, I'll need a really nice dress for the actual wedding. Um, but the other two events, I'm going to need to be somewhat dressed up as well. So I thought, you know, a knit dress, I feel like can easily be dressed up and then you could also wear it casually and dress it down. So that was kind of what I was thinking with this. And it was a remnant, so it was on sale. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That is my exciting news on being an ambassador for University of Sewing, who are a Bernina dealer, which means I'll be sewing on a very fancy Bernina machine 
um, going forward this year. And the plus is, once I've turned this machine back in next year, um, it will be for sale as a used machine. So um, if that's something that you guys watch me sew on all year and something that you might be interested in purchasing, it will be available for purchase after, as a used machine, after I am, so cheaper, <laughs> as a used machine after I'm finished with it. So um, that's another fun, kind of exciting perk as well. Um, okay, so it's gonna be, this has been a long video. It's gonna be, um, I'll, we're gonna do a lot of tutorials this year. That was my plan anyway. I wanted to get back to a lot more tutorials and sew-alongs and stuff on the channel. Um, we've got digital classes coming this year, which will be obviously me showing a lot of sewing as well. Um, and I really wanna delve into embroidery. So um, from little to big, uh, my daughter, another thing we're gonna look at, my daughter was asking me, she's like, can we turn my art into um, a digitized embroidery? And I'm sure we can. I'm sure there's software out there that can make that possible. Um, so we're going to explore that and figure out, see if we can figure out how to turn her artwork into an embroidery file. Um, and how, if that's possible, I'm sure it is possible, but if it's possible for techie noobs like us to figure that out, <laughs> or if that takes someone much more technical than us, but we're going to explore that because there's quite a few things that she thought would be cool embroidered on her own clothing. So. That is something we're going to be exploring as well this year, in addition to just a whole bunch of little here and there embroidery, just so, because I've got the access to it now, and I would like to play around with it. Okay, that's all I've got for today, guys. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. I don't know what Sunday's video is going to be yet. Um, filming this one, this today's video that you're watching on Wednesday. Uh, I'm not going to have access to my sewing room yet, so... Um, well, to the filming. I have barely have access to my sewing room, so I don't have enough room to film me sewing for a sew along yet. But it is coming, and as soon as my room is ready, I will be sewing the Parker Ponty pants in a sew along. So stay tuned. But I will have a video on Sunday. I'm just not sure what that is yet. It may be mending. I may be. I may do a little vlog, like a mending vlog. We can all do because I've got some mending I need to do, um, and we can all just mend together on Sunday, maybe. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I think that's it. Okay, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>